I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber. So let me first thank Raymond from Ghana posting this question. The question is to prove that complement of A complement union B is A minus B. Now to prove this I may have to use another law which is called De Morgan's law. So I'm not very sure whether uh, you are familiar with it or not. So what I'll do here is prove that also and then we'll incorporate both in one video, right? So, <clears throat> so let me write down what De Morgan's law is. It relates A union B complement with intersection of complements of A and B, right? So that is De Morgan's law. Since you have something complement to prove A minus B, I like to begin from here. So I'll prove this law first and then move forward uh, and prove the identity which you want, right? I hope that really uh, helps you. And uh, if you know the law and all those, then you may skip this step, correct? Okay, so what does that really mean? Let's start from the left side. When we say a union B and its complement, we are saying any element X belongs to A union B complement, right? So that means that X belongs to, or you should say X does not belong to A union B, right? So since this is complement, we can say X does not belong to A union B, right? Or we could say this as X does not belong to A and the element X does not belong to B, correct? That really means that X belongs to what? A complement, right? And X belongs to B complement, right? Now with AND operation, it really means that X belongs to A complement AND means intersection, right? intersection B complement correct so so that is what the law is now we'll use this law to to prove the identity you want I hope that makes sense right so let's begin with the identity you want which is uh, this right let me copy this once again equals to a minus B right so we are now converting this to minus. So let's begin as we have done on this side. So we'll use the law, De Morgan's law states that uh, whatever complement we are looking at, something union complement, it could be written as intersection of these two things, right? So that is equals to complement of A, intersection complement of B, right? So we have used De Morgan's law to get to the first step, and this is kind of critical. Is it okay? And now from here, we know complement of complement is A itself, right? So it becomes A intersection B complement. Now when I say that, it really means what? It means that the element X belongs to A and X belongs to complement of B, right? Or I could say X belongs to A and X does not belong to B. Now when I say X belongs to A and it does not belong to B, I will write this as A minus B, right? That is what we have. And therefore, we can say that your identity is correct. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if the, really this works for you. Thanks for sharing your question and this is best I can do. Thank you and all the best.